Hey everyone, welcome back to Rapid Scan 3D uh, tutorial. Today we're going to talk about Creon uh, Arm Calibration Probe and the scanner. So we're going to talk about 2.5 meter uh, A6 25. Uh, we have the white scanner head and a probe. So, first thing what we're going to do, make sure you uh, grab the scanner um, sphere for calibration. And there are, there are numbers on it, so make sure that you write it down, 34.911 millimeter. And that's going to be useful for our calibration. And we have an inspection table. I'm going to screw this right on top of it. And I'm going to put the probe calibration away. Make sure you don't damage these. Be very careful with them. And we'll see that our laser is activated. And then make sure that you change the number if it's a different number. And then we're going to uh, start calibrating. I already had two calibrations done if you look at the history. But we're going to just do it to show you guys how easily you can calibrate your uh, probe and the scanner head. So as you see, I'm just quickly scanning all around and going one place after another, just collecting as much as data as possible. Don't worry about the stuff that you're collecting under. It's not that important. Uh, as long as you get enough data for the uh, sphere, you should be good. And I'm going to go around. Once we've finished, uh, we're going to see this number uh, and then we're just going to basically compute and then that's going to spit out the uh, successful completion or failure. So 24 micron is really good for uh, scanner calibration. The next one we're going to do is we're going to jump to probe calibration and then make sure you click on the six millimeter. As I mentioned earlier, I did some calibrations just a test and I do have good results from each one of them so we're gonna do the another one and you can delete them you can keep them it's up to you and then we're gonna type in that number and we're gonna basically touch 60 points on the the sphere uh, the make sure you collect enough data and then your part is screwed on your inspection table or your clamp because if you're not, you might be collecting um, incorrect information. As I go around this little tiny circle motion, I'm um, collecting as much as data as possible without moving my calibration sphere. And each time I change a position, I stop, I go back and then start collecting again. Um, once you complete 60 plus uh, calibration points, you're going to click on compute and that's going to tell you how close you are for the calibration. 20 to 25 micron is actually really good for the probe too. So we're going to compute. We got 24 micron. We're going to save it and then we're going to go ahead and then start scanning. I suggest to calibrate the probe and scanner uh, before each use, uh, just in case, because you might have, you know, somebody bumped into it, or maybe it's not really um, in the correct position. Uh, if you remove the head assembly, you got to make sure that you attach it back and then you can recalibrate. So, and that's about it. And now we can go ahead and start scanning our parts. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, please feel free to contact us in our website, rapidscan.com. And we do offer tutorials. We do training. So have a great day. Thanks.